Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and another save a file update for you all today. So I was supposed to be uploading a speed build today but I have a lot of homework to do and so I can get this done quickly so you're getting a current household, not a current household, a uh, save file update today and then the build that I was supposed to be doing today will come out um, Thursday and then the one after that will come some point in November whenever this was scheduled to go up but today I am like I said gonna go over my save file and show you around a little bit and show you what I've done since the last one and that was about four or five months ago so it's been a while so I'm doing another one so let's go into Willow Creek first and literally Barely anything has happened. I have started to build a house in here, but it's nowhere near done and I don't think I like it very much, so I'm probably gonna get rid of it, because I mean, look at it, it doesn't look very nice. Ugh. Let's get rid of that one pretty quickly. Probably, maybe, I'll see. But I have also moved this house to Windenburg, the house that was originally here, which was the, sh the Shell Challenge house. And I've moved the land grabs into this lot because I kind of feel like they would live here rather than in the desert. Just looking back on some of their older homes um, from other Sims games, I kind of pictured them to live in a greener area rather than the desert. So let's go into Oasis Springs because it's the thing that has changed the most by far. So I have, I don't know if I did videos on these lots here, I might have done some videos, I don't know, but these um, are the new lots that are all the community lots except this is the Mirage Condos instead because this is Mirage Canyon. So I wanted it to kind of reflect that. They're all very similar in style. They all look very similar. So we have the Museum of Modern Arts. We have Burners and Builders. We have the Solar Flare, which is a bar, but it's also a bowling alley. And then we have the Mirage Condos. Up here in Skyward Palms, we have an empty lot still. We have Granada Place, we have the Calientes House, and we have Rio Verde. I have started to do um, some renovations on this area, so I will go in and show you them in a minute. Obviously up here, these two houses are gone up in Acquisition Butte, Boot, Butte, Butte, I don't know. Um, around here in Bedrock Strait, we have the builds that I've been working on for the past week or so on my channel. So you will have probably seen the videos, if not then I will link uh, the playlist of all of my speed builds for my project save file. Or you can just go and look on my channel and see all of these. And then the last lot, uh, or last set of lots down here, are the Parched Prospect lots. So this area is finished. This one's almost finished, I do just have two houses to finish. Um, but the rest of it's not really that finished. So all of these lots here are, are furnished, and this one isn't furnished, I thought I would leave it empty, and this little um, planter bit here goes very well with the other areas, like around here there are very similar things to this, so I thought it would look okay. Next up we have Newcrest, and I don't think a lot has happened in Newcrest at all, except I have moved the two townhouses that I started to here because I want to do something with this. This is probably going to get deleted and this hasn't really progressed any further up here in Bridgeview. Down here in Ridgeline Drive we obviously have this house. I have done two videos on that and it is finished so you can go and download that because it's on my gallery as well. This lot isn't finished. I will see about finishing that later but currently it's not done. I was kind of inspired to go in and do a retail lot the other day, but then I kind of just didn't because I didn't really know what I want to build. 
So this lot is currently empty. This lot will be getting renovated. And then these two lots are finished over here. Going into Windenburg. Windenburg is an absolute mess and I need to fix it. But I'm going to be waiting for the rental system to come out. And then kind of change everything a little bit. Because I do want to have a rental in this area in Old Platz. So, and then maybe one out here in Winslar as well. So, we'll have to see about that. But I am going to delete this or change this. I don't know yet, but I don't like it. So, it's going to be changed uh, to something else. Around here hasn't really been touched. Neither has any of this, to be honest with you. And this is where I moved that shell challenge to. And I did move the Villa Reals into here, but I don't know if I like that. So, I'm maybe going to move them. And I was working on this house and it was inspired by one that Plumbella did, but uh, I don't like that either, so I'm going to probably get rid of that. Going into San Myshuno, absolutely nothing has changed, so I am just going to leave that one there, except maybe the Industrial Arts Centre, because I did put the knitting area in there, but apart from that, nothing's really changed. The same is can be said for a Forgotten Hollow, nothing's really changed there. Brindleton Bay had changed a little bit because I did have the townhouses in here, but then I got rid of them, so it's basically exactly the same. Del Sol Valley is different, however, because I have started a build here. It's nowhere near finished yet, so I will update you all when that's finished, but currently it isn't. Strangerville is also not changed really at all, I don't think. Sulani is the same, but I am again waiting for the rental system to come out tonight and then I will uh, do some builds there. Glimmerbrook is also unchanged from last time. Brightchester is exactly the same and you will find that um, a lot of these are just not finished. But Evergreen Harbour is almost done, I just have this lot here to do, and then obviously the three over here, the um, community areas, I do want to give them a little bit of a renovation and refurnish. So that is what I'm planning on doing, but let me just go into Oasis Springs, so... Um, yeah, here we have all of the builds here. Sorry, what was I saying? I don't even remember. But I'm going to go into this lot here and show you around this neighbourhood. And I will show you what I'm planning on doing, show you how I'm planning on doing things. But since we are in this uh, loading screen, I would just like to let you know that I've got a new mic at the moment. Um, it is new. I am testing it out today, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after that as well, I don't know. I'll just have to see, but it is for Christmas, so I am going to probably have to put it away soon because this is just a little tester trial thing, but here we are in the lots. This is Rio Verde and it hasn't been changed, well it's been changed quite a lot but the lot itself hasn't changed, I've not rebuilt it, I have just moved things about a little bit and jiggled about with it. So this whole area around here is the same and everything else is kind of just a little bit smaller because um, it was really big and I didn't like it and it's currently all just a really big shell and a, but I have started putting some windows on it so I will get back to you when that one's finished but it's nowhere near done right now going over here to the oh, we'll go over to this one I think this is called Granada Place this is the one that I have kind of worked on the most and it is still not finished. It's not furnished at all, but it is also an EA build that I have kind of renovated and changed a little bit. So it's all nice and white painted. It's got nice brown flooring and the doors over here as well. So you come through here and then 
There's the front room, there's uh, another room in here, I don't know what these rooms are going to be yet. But this one leads you out onto a little balcony space. Oh, that doesn't have any steps. That's an issue, I will have to go back and fix that one, didn't really think about that. Then going through here, in here we have a kitchen, it's kind of small, but I figured that you don't really need that much space in the kitchen. And then maybe this is like a dining room or something, and then if we go up the stairs, we come into what I think is the master bedroom, or I would call the master bedroom. And then we have kind of half furnished or half renovated bathrooms, that's the word I'm looking for. But the flooring and everything isn't furnished or renovated really. And then in here we have a shared bathroom, etc. Oops, that's my bad. <laughs> Right, so that's that house over there, Granada Place, and then around here we have the Caliente's house. I don't know how much I've done to this. It might be a little, it might be a lot, I couldn't tell you. Oh, it's more than I thought. Oh, okay. So in here there will be a bathroom, I just haven't put a door in there yet. I don't know what this place will be either. Uh, in here we have this, out here we have this little room in here. Then going back out and through, we have this room, and then we have two rooms here, and that is all of the downstairs, except when you go outside. And then upstairs we have this big landing area with a lot of doors, so from left to right, we have this bedroom, we have this bedroom. And here is going to be a little bathroom space. Same with this one. And, oh no, this one's a bedroom. <laughs> this one's a bedroom with a bathroom attached. And this is a shared bathroom with this room in here. And then we have this room. So there are a lot of rooms in this house. So that is the whole area so far. I might leave this one empty. I don't know yet. We'll just have to kind of see. Um, I'm also trying to set up a second monitor right now. So that is also another challenge. The wire has just come. So I'm trying to fix that up. But I don't know if it's worked or not. I'm going to have to see how I can do that. And that is so I can film a video thing for school. But let me just bring you into here because all of these are also furnished and I'm not going to show you the other area right now uh, or the other areas because this video is kind of going on uh, a bit, 13 and a half minutes-ish. So I am just going to show you this area which will take us to a good amount of time for one of these kind of videos and then I'll end it off there, I think. But thank you all to everyone who has watched the podcast again. I really appreciate that. The podcast is something that I am really enjoying making at the moment. So thank you very much for that. But here is the first house. Let me just put up my um, walls and the windows and everything. So here it is. Uh, the walls and the windows. The walls and the roof. So here is the first house. I wanted to give it a very jungle adventure theme. So there are a lot of objects from jungle adventure. We obviously have mosquito stuff as well. And then in here we have a nice kitchen area. I love this kitchen a lot. And then in here we have a little pantry area. Coming back out of here, this nice big open plan area, going right down the hall, we have a lovely little bathroom here with an open shower. We have a bedroom that has been converted into a gym. Beside that, we have a bedroom here for a teenager, a teen boy, I was kind of thinking. And then down on this side, this wing of the house, we have the master bedroom and the master bathroom. So this is a three-bedroomed, two-bathroom house. 
around here you might recognize this house if you watched my current household renovation current household renovation current household update video or if you watched my let's decorate series but this is obviously a very different furnishing to that because the walls have kind of changed and are different now everything's a little bit differently laid out so here we have an informal living room we have the kitchen in here that is very similarly decorated to the last time i kind of just like the simplistic feel as you walk into the house obviously you have the formal living area and round back here you have the dining room at the front here we have a nice bathroom oh god that's not very finished i thought i furnished this oops i will have to go back in and furnish that one that's an oops on my part in here we have a bedroom for i don't remember who but it is one of the roomies then in here we have a little nursery because zoe and one of them i think it's gavin are having a child and then this is zoe and gavin's bedroom which also leads into a office space in here and then there used to be another space here where my current household sim did her um youtube sim tube videos but i kind of got rid of that because it didn't really make sense for the house and the people living in it but here is the outside there's a nice little barbecue area there's a sitting area hot tub obviously a, another sitting area another sitting area here and then we have the slip and slide i kind of forgot to show you the outside of this house so it's quite similar to the other one the furniture is quite similar but sure why not they are all quite close i feel these neighbors would be and here is the empty lot and as you can see it's very similarly furnished um decorated to behind it over here obviously i couldn't find this thing so it's just some paint but i think it does the job fine in here is another ea lot that i've renovated i think all of these are more or less so in here there is the kitchen nice and small it is just like a alley kitchen i think you call it because it's on two sides with a walkway in the middle we have a dining room it's very blue and orange themed here as you can maybe tell and then back here we have a bedroom for a teen or a kind of older child and in here we have the bathroom it's also quite similarly decorated to the um ones in the other area the more affluent area because i kind of wanted it to all tie in a little bit so this is the blue bedroom the master bedroom with the bathroom and then back here they have a very very orange outside and obviously there are orange walls as well and then finally the last house up here is also another one of my current household homes that i have refurnished but it's very similarly decorated to when they lived in there so here is the front entrance way originally this house had this little bit here but you could walk on either side but i've done it so you have to walk around this wall completely and then you come into the main living space here which i think is very nice in here oops sorry in here there is an office space all the offices are kind of similarly decorated because i kind of thought that uh, an interior decorator was very prominent in the area and they all kind of got the same one uh oops curtain here that's my fault here is a bedroom here i don't really know what family i'm gonna put in here yet but there will be a family of some sort here is the bathroom it's not really been decorated again which is an oopsie on my part i thought i had decorated the bathrooms but apparently not 
and then the master bedroom and that is all of the houses in this neighborhood as well and this is where i'm going to end off today's video so thank you all very much for watching if you did like it please leave a like share it with your friends and subscribe for more of my content i do a lot of sims content some minecraft content other games as well and i also have my podcast so go and give them a watch or a listen i have um some links in the description that I would like you to go and check out. I have a Twitter and an Instagram, so please go and give me a follow down there, as well as joining my Discord server, where you could be in for the chance of interacting with some of my series. And let's also just get a bit of a community going in there. I'd really love that. That would be something that I would be very interested in as well. Um, apart from that, I don't really think I have anything else to say. Oh, I have a TikTok now, which is at mini underscore does underscore YouTube underscore. So go and give that a uh, check out as well. Go and check that one out. Give me a follow. Uh, I'd love that. Thank you very much. But thank you all again very much for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys. Let's take it slow Where you go, I go too And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're